What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Rust Racing Vic. For today's episode, we're going to be rigging on these Air Max 90 Warhawks. We'll be giving them a good deep cleaning using Rejuvenator products and repainting these midsoles. These are easily one of the tougher pairs to repaint. I've done several pairs in the past and even I still have a hard time doing them. The reason why they're so difficult to do, just because you got to mix three different colors. The brown, the beige, and the maroon. And of course, repainting these teeth. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the proper way I'm repainting a pair of Air Max 90 Warhawks. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is insert our rejuvenator adjustable shoe tree and remove the shoelaces. So to properly clean the shoes, we're going to be using rejuvenator's 3 brush 4 ounce kit. We'll be using the soft bristle brush for the uppers and the medium bristle brush for the midsoles. Okay, so we're all done with the cleaning process. These are looking pretty good so far. The leather uppers are conditioned. So now we're gonna move on to letting these dry for a few hours, come back, and get started with the midsoles. All right, so we're back after letting the shoes completely dry. Now the next thing we're gonna do is move on to the midsoles. First thing we gotta do is tape up the uppers so we can strip the old paint. All right, so we got the uppers fully taped up all around. Now the next thing we're gonna do is remove the old paint using some acetone and cotton balls. Alright, so the metals are fully stripped. Now the next thing we're gonna do is remove this old tape so we can strip the old paint on the upper piece. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is tape up this upper piece right here so we can remove the paint off the white and red. So the more I look at the shoe, I'm noticing that this panel right here needs a lot of touch-ups. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, using some acetone and cotton balls, is remove the finisher so I can repaint it, except for the star though. Alright, so we got the old paint fully stripped off. Now the next thing we're going to do is remove this old tape so we can retape some areas on the shoe so we can lay down the white. Alright, so I got the white paint laid down. Before we move on to laying down the rest of the colors on the shoe, I'm going to go ahead and take care of the hardest part first, which is the teeth. We're going to be using this custom stencil that I made, a compressor and an airbrush to apply the paint with. Here we go.
All right, so I finally got the stencil to lay down perfectly. This was a very long and tedious process to do, but looks pretty good to me. The next thing I'm gonna do is tape off the rest of the shoe so I can airbrush the paint on. All right, so we got the shoes all taped up, stencil's ready to go. The next thing we're gonna do is apply this custom red paint. But before we do that, we're gonna be thinning the paint using some tooth thin. Alright, so we got that custom rug laid down. The next thing we're gonna do is carefully remove the tape. Alright, guys, check out those teeth. These look really, really good in person. Almost looks factory. But I'm gonna let you guys know right now that this stencil is super hard to apply and remove. But anyways, let's move on to the next color. We're gonna be applying this custom beige color on the uppers and midsoles. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and tape off this white piece and the teeth so I can create this angle using a piece of tape. All right, so as you can see on the right shoe, the previous guy that restored these shoes gave the beige a straight line, when in reality, it should have a curved line, like I gave it right here. All right, so we got the base fully laid down all around the shoe. Now the last color we gotta lay down is this pre-mix brown custom color on both sides of the shoe. I'm not gonna be taping off the uppers or this piece just cause it's freshly painted. If I tape it off now, when it's time to remove the tape, it's gonna rip the paint off. So I'm just gonna freehand it.
All right, guys, we're finally done with this mental repaint. Check them out. These look really good. Took forever to lay down. That was four custom colors. Well, three technically, not including the white. We got the white down, the bread down, the brown down, and the beige. All we're gonna do now is protect this freshly painted shoe. It's a product matte finish. All right, guys, it's gonna wrap it up on this full restoration of these Air Max and the Warhawks. These were a very difficult project to do on a scale from one to 10. These were a 10 across the boards. The reason why this restoration was so difficult because I had to mix and match three different colors, the beige, the red, and brown. But by far, the beige was the hardest color to match. But it wasn't as hard as laying down the stencil for the teeth. All three custom colors along with the Rejuvenator 3 brush 4 ounce kit are available at rejuvenator.com. Make sure you use my promo code in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next Monday.